In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Fumora Cloud to share projects, media files, anything you want to share with other people. This is how you're going to be able to do it. Uh, if you see, look on the screen here, I have Fumora open. This is the welcome page. As you can see, this is where you can create a new project. If you look on the left side here on the second tab here, you're going to select Fumora Cloud. All right. Now, this is the Fumora Cloud here. So I'm using the free version. There is a free version which is about one gigabyte. But if you want to expand this, there's some paid options that you can use. All right. So that's what you see on the top. Here. It's going to tell you how much space you're using and how much space you have. All right. And if you obviously want to, you know, expand this, have a paid version, go ahead and hit expand. And it's going to show you the different options that you have and the space that you're going to get. All right. All right. Go ahead and cancel over here. So what you want to do here is let's say you're working on a project here. You want to go ahead and hit upload. Go ahead and go to a project, which means if you're trying to upload a project that you've created in Fumora, this is what you hit here. So, but if you just want to upload some media files or something like that, uh, go ahead and do media, right? So you can actually select uh, media here. So let's, uh, I'm going to select this over here. And you can also upload projects. So if you do project, it's going to take you to your project files here, right? So you can see I have projects saved on my desktop, which are for more project. You can see by uh, the file type here, right? So if I uploaded one of these, right? All right. So once it's finished uploading, you're going to see all your files on here. You're going to see all your files on here. As you can see, they're separated by projects, uh, media. You also have presets here. If you have that set up, you're going to be able to do it that way. What I like to do here is go ahead and click uh, anywhere on the top banner that says Fumara Cloud. This is going to open up um, a website, which is the Fumara website. This is the same thing as what we're just looking at, but this is kind of like a web version, right? You're going to see everything that you have uploaded in here. So I can see my projects here. I can see my media files here, right? And if you look on the left hand side, you have your different tabs. So this is your assets tab where you see everything that's saved. If you go to the bottom here, you can see things that have been shared with you, right? Uh, if you go to recycle bin, you can see things that you have deleted in the past. Okay. Now, if you want, so if you wanted to share, let's say I wanted to share this project with someone else, right? How can I do this? Go over to the project that you just uploaded. Uh, on the top right corner, you're going to find a more options, the three dots that say more options. Click on that and go ahead and hit a uh, share right here, right? Go ahead and share. All right. Here you have your link. This is a link you're going to need to send to the person. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit, before I do that, go ahead and hit change and you have your settings here. So on the top you have permissions, right? So if you're sending this to someone, what permissions you want them to have. Obviously you want them to be able to download this, right? So you want to make sure that this is enabled, right? Unless you just want them to view and not be able to download. So if you turn this off, whoever you send it to, they're going to be able to only view, but not download it. Right? So I want to enable download. And on the bottom here, you have your link settings. So one of the things I recommend is always password protecting your, uh, you know, your, the files that you're sending with, uh, to people. So if we click, uh, enable this, it's going to auto generate a password, right? So every time you have, uh, you enable this, it auto generates a different password. So you're never going to have the same password for all your files and you don't have the ability to set the password. Um, uh, maybe they'll have that future, that feature in the future. Uh, but, uh, for, as of right now, you do not have the ability to change your password. Okay. Now I'm going to disable that for now. And the last setting you have here is going to be the auto expiration, right? So if you want this to expire after any of these, um, you know, uh, uh, time frames, um, you're going to be able to set that. So if you want it to expire after a day, seven days or 30 days, these are the three options that, uh, you have here. Now, if you don't have this enabled, that link is never going to expire. So as long as someone has that link and let's say if you added a password here, so if they had uh, the password, they would be able to always access that file. Okay. So I recommend adding a password. I also recommend I uh, may be adding an expiration date. All right. So what I like to do right now is let's go ahead and try it out. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, exit this. It's going to save everything here. So what I do, go ahead and copy this link over here, copy the link. And with that link, we're going to go ahead and uh, paste it on another. We just paste it over here, actually.
All right, so this is what someone's gonna see, right? If you send this link to someone and they receive this, this is what they're gonna see here, right? They're gonna see uh, this pop-up, tells you the project name, tells you the private file. Now, since I enabled download, they're gonna be able to download this project. So they can just hit download, and there you go. The project has been downloaded, all right? Now that is how you um, share files using Filmora Cloud. You can collaborate with a bunch of people. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.